Um, this is going to be part three for um, our astrology in 2014. Uh, today we're going to be doing earth signs. Um, and these are the three um, signs that are in the earth element. So, we've got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and get started with Taurus first. And I'm going to be using um, this book right here. And this book is the Complete Book of Astrology, and it's by um, Chris Brent Riske, R-I-S-K-E, for anybody that was wondering. And I'm also going to be using um, a website, uh, astrology.horoscope.com, and that's going to tell you everything you need to know about your sign and what you can expect in 2014. So we hope that helps. Okay, so we are going to be learning about three particular things in each um, sign. Personal and social life, love life for couples, um, love life also for singles, and then career and money in 2014. So, okay, we are going to get started. I'm going to go with this book first. I um, was trying to write it on my whiteboard and uh, my pen, my marker went out, both of them. So I'm going to be using this app on my um, iPad. If I can get that off. Okay, okay. so we're going to be doing Taurus first. And uh, my apologies, you're going to see my camera and my Okay, so, here we go. Could I use that? So, Taurus. And you are a Taurus if you are born from... April 19th through May 20th. Can you guys make that out? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. Sorry, I just downloaded this app so that I could do this. Okay, and some um, major qualities of Taurus, or how to spot a Taurus, um, their glyph is that's their glyph, and their symbol is the bull. Their ruling planet is Venus. Their element, of course, is Earth. Um, their body areas that they're ruled by are the throat, the neck, and the vocal cords. And their gemstone is the... Emerald. 
and their flower is the violet. Their keyword is possessive. Yay, my fridge turned off. Okay. So, those are some key things to know about the tours. And let's go ahead and figure out what is in store for you for uh, 2014. Okay. So, let's see here. At the beginning of the year, you're going to be channeling Greta Garbo and wanting to be alone. That's a weird reference, isn't it? Okay. You've got a lot on your mind, and though you might have a few days here and there of major support, you're, most, you're mostly going to be lost in your thoughts. However, this is likely to dissipate into a desire for Taurus-style action. Unfortunately, by the time you're more focused, schedules between you and others might start conflicting leading to an atmosphere of casual frustration. It won't last. The annual solar eclipse on April 28th through the 29th should bring social and private life to a pleasant and steady rhythm. The summer promises a more synchronized and steady routine that will allow you to stay focused on important tasks and chores while granting you the free time to get out and have fun with friends. This balance might face a few hiccups as a friend or relative will test your resolve around late November. But don't let it get to you. All in all, you're holding your own very well. Okay, so for Tauruses that are already in a relationship, this is what you can look forward to. Luckily, the isolation that you desire at the beginning of the year does not apply to relationships. In fact, the signs point to wanting to share special things together, particularly ideas and concepts. Something found within a book or online might instigate a night of fascinating conversation. There may be a focus on a partner's family on both positive and not as positive manners. There is an outside world, and for good or bad, it will encroach more starting with the moon's entrance into Libra in February. By April, something previously neglected, like a bill or future plans, will become a steady focus for a while as romance lies on the back burner. It may even paint a picture of love losing its luster, but it's just a surface illusion. Two companions working hard together on a common goal is as meaningful as any scene from a romantic novel. And by the end of the year, you'll have come full circle into a blissful intimacy again. And for Tauruses that are currently single, this is what you can expect. The opportunities for romance are all there for you, but they may be sneaking around corners and hiding in unexpected places. You're going to have to be extra watchful So, Tauruses, career and money in 2014. Experimentation is not on the immediate horizon for you when it comes to wise money handling. Investments should stay to home, and you should do your best to maintain a low profile if you're currently employed. If you're still seeking that special job, the beginning of the year is not going to paint a picture of permanence, 
but instead will appear to be a zigzag course to a new life that you aren't expecting. During the period before the partial solar eclipse on October 23rd, your world will be a series of tasks and processes assembling slowly until that October day when, voila, something you hadn't anticipated will benefit you in some way. Up until then, work and money matters may be frustratingly unrevealing, but you will receive hints during the year that you're moving steadily upward, even if you're not sure what's going to be at that peak. Once you get there, everyone, including you, will recognize it as positive and beneficial. The question of, was this really what I was aiming for, will not remain unanswered for long. So, that is the bull. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next sign. So the next sign that we're going to be doing is Virgo. Um, Virgos are born in between August 22nd and September 23rd. <laughs> Little 23. So that's Virgo. Okay, so um, some qualities of Virgos. Um, their glyph is incredibly weird. Okay. So, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Wait a sec. That's totally not the right way. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's try again. So, the glyph is. That's a cliff. That's actually not bad. I'm pretty impressed with myself right there. Um, okay, their symbol is the Virgin. Um, and their ruling planet is Mercury. They are Earth. Their body area is ruled by uh, the intestines. Their gemstone is a sapphire. So, um, their colors are navy uh, blue and dark brown. Their flower is the pansy, and their keyword is uh, service. Somebody has a little teeny tiny dog outside. I'm sure it's really cute, but it's incredibly annoying. Riley doesn't bark. He doesn't have vocal cords. That's a lie. He does have vocal cords. He's just very nervous to talk and he just doesn't do that because he loves me. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so, um, uh, personal and social life, 2014 for Virgos. This year, two fire signs, Aries, clutching onto Uranus at the beginning of the year, and Leo, seizing Jupiter toward the end, are acting as stimulants to help bring the best of you to the forefront. A friend or acquaintance will be amazed at what a treasure trove of helpful information you are. At first, you may be dismissive, because you'll have so much on your plate, you can barely think about yourself. But in the end, 
this could well be a channel for a new network of friends or acquaintances, thus opening up a new world for you. This is one of those times when just being yourself will pay off a hundredfold. Besides your personal advancement, this also means a time when your communication with others is more open and honest. And for you, getting to know your family and friends better is going to open different doors within you. With Uranus and Aries, you'll be looking at your companions in a different and much more positive light. So that's good. Okay. So, if you are in a relationship or you are one half of a couple and you're a Virgo, then this is pretty much what you have to look forward to. So, this year, you and your beloved may go from traveling together to heading in the same direction, back and forth continuously. This isn't to imply that the magic may be seeping out of your romance. Simply, it's because you're so busy that you'll be in the position where you'll be trusting that everything is fine. Fortunately, your partner may feel the same way for a while, though you may not be in complete sync. You may have to overextend yourself in communicating for a while. You need to rely on the strength of Neptune and Pisces to be sure you're saying the right thing. Asking how your partner is doing, even if you're running out of the door, is always a good thing to do. As the year progresses, the two of you are drawn together more closely into an intimate appreciation of the other. Little personal quirks become endearing, but you can't explain why. Shared opinions on external issues bring you closer together. All these little nuances, buoyed by Venus's position in Taurus in mid-June, add up to a stronger alliance between the two of you. Even if the heat is being turned up slowly, it's still simmering nicely. And for any single Virgo, do not lose hope. Here is your this year some inner pressure to settle down a bit. This is because the year begins, the sun and moon are both in Capricorn, but the moon squares Mars and Libra as well. Thus, you may be interpreting signals from other people as hints that you need to find someone fast. And at the beginning of the year, it certainly does look as though all systems are a go. With Neptune and Pisces having your back when it comes to communication, you could feel like new relationships are blossoming faster than usual. However, all this means is that you have the luxury of taking it slow. New friendships are awash in security and can only be diminished if you rush in with future plans before you even thought them over. If it looks like you're building something strong, stop halfway through and say good enough. You have an opportunity to test a relationship thoroughly while still having a good time. Take it easy and don't let anyone force you into commitments until both of you are truly, truly happy. Okay. And for career and money in 2014 for Virgos. At the beginning of the year, when opportunity knocks, it could seem as if the same visitor who'd been appearing last year and the year before that. Despite hopes of something exciting dropping in your lap, you have something that, on the surface, appears to be ordinary and wishy-washy. However, this is deceptive. What these possibilities are missing is you and with what you bring to the table. You could blossom into a colorful career opportunity that you'd miss if you only looked on the, at the surface. If you're already working and satisfied with your job, you might find yourself making too big of a deal over little things. Every new expense, every out of the way errand, and every difficult coworker stands out like a sore thumb to you. However, toward the end of the year, with Capricorn exerting its influence, you'll gain a lot more perspective how easy it is to manage these situations and come out ahead in the process. So why not get a jump on the end of the year? If a tricky problem arrives in your workplace or finances, remember that you'll do just fine. So that is what 
Virgo can look forward to. And as you know, um, we are doing earth signs. So I'm trying to do like a little sound in every video. Okay, so this is a little cactus that I got as a gift. I think it was a gift. Was it a gift? But she's so cute and her name is Rose. Actually, her little spikes are not that, that bad, as I say it, it stabs me. And I just put her in a little shot glass, <laughs> like a little shot wine glass, and it says Hennessy on the front. Okay, so on to the very last um, sign of our element Earth, and that is going to be Capricorn. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Capricorns are usually born in between December 21st and January 20th. So we're in your sign right now. Hello, Capricorn. Another hard one. Let's see how I do this. The glyph is I think that's the glyph for Capricorn. Um, the Capricorn is their symbol is the goat. Um, their ruling planet is Saturn. They are um, ruled by the body areas of skeleton, knees, teeth, and skin. Their gemstone is garnet. And colors are black, uh, gray, and forest green. Their flower is the carnation, and their keyword is ambition. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what's in store for the Capricorn in 2000. 
14. The year begins with five planets in Capricorn. The Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Pluto. This suggests that you'll be very busy, and that doesn't just apply to your job or work. With Jupiter in Cancer most of the year, and opposing planets in your sign at every turn, you may find yourself knee-deep in home maintenance. <coughs> and this doesn't just mean upkeep of your physical residence. It also means keeping family and romantic ties strong with a certain amount of effort. The work required will often be pleasant, but if you've ever wanted a reason to avoid laziness, this is it. Adding to the momentum, particularly late in the year, is Jupiter's position in Leo, starting in mid-July. Not only are you getting your second win, but at the last, work to results ratio is skewing in the favor of results. What those results may be could surprise you, but they're worth the continued effect at the same time. You'll be seeing progress in interpersonal relationships, status, and emotional balance. But why stop when things are getting good? When Mars and Sagittarius trines Jupiter and Leo, on October 8th, even retrograde, Mercury can't slow you down. <coughs> Sorry, got a little tickle in my throat. Okay, we're just waiting for couples to load. Okay, so if you are a couple or one of two halves, and you are a Capricorn, 2014 is going to look a little something like this. At the beginning of the year, something feels somewhat flat and static. Brace yourself. You're mostly in the clutches of the aforementioned overheated work ethic, and it's taking you and your beloved away from spending quality time with each other and to just working to keep keeping things going. With Saturn, ruler of your sign, positioned in devious Scorpio for most of the year, you might have to do a fair amount of digging and probing to unlock the doors of communication. It's not an impossible task, but you might have to stay dedicated for it to work. Take the time to get out, lock all the work distractions away in the box once in a while, and vent over the outer frustrations that life occasionally gives you. With this, both of you can let off some steam and be able to connect to the things that truly matter once again. As the summer approaches and Jupiter sails into Leo on July 16th, and Venus does too on August 12th, fewer outside burdens keep wrenching you away from your loved ones, giving you a chance to focus more steadily on your relationship, and by this time, your previous efforts to establish a deeper connection will make you a master in the art of effective messaging. So, here is your horoscope if you're single. Let's go ahead and enlarge that sucker for you. You might not think of a certain friend or acquaintance as someone you could lead to or even become a partner romantically, but the planets are certainly striving to make that happen. The position of Venus and Capricorn to introduce you to an environment where friends and associates become workmates. The circumstances foster a healthy environment for chatting and discussing life. By March 12th, Mars and Libra provide that need for balance between work and pleasure. However, with the moon in Leo trying Uranus and Aries, you may suddenly interested in more than just working with you. But where can you take it from there? Can you take it anywhere? You want to set boundaries and you can't always find the time to set up the perfect date. The trick is to let it happen as it will. Uranus stays in Aries, firmly telling you that your relationship won't stay. Saturn is in 
single life looks a-okay. And here we go. So for career and money, for the Capricorn in 2014. Of course, the year beginning with such a dramatic Capricorn influence implies that your routine work will see a burst of activity. Your outside life is just as busy, and you might have to struggle a little to keep your equilibrium. With Jupiter and Cancer, you do have helpful resources here and there that you can tap. What you need to remember is that you don't have to do everything yourself. Saturn is tucked away in Secret of Scorpio, so you may feel that the silence others give you implies that you have to go at it alone in everything you do. But don't forget that Venus is in Capricorn. To get the help you need, all you have to do is ask. In the meantime, however, be careful with money. Saturn Scorpio's sting will make you feel like tightening the purse strings anyway, but you might still be the target of pleas for money. If a friend or relative is in serious trouble, help out as best you can, but don't overextend yourself. If someone is asking for added charitable contribu contributions or unreasonable loans, politely decline or keep it to the bare minimum. So, that is the horoscope for 2014 for Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorn. Hope that you guys enjoyed, and I hope that if you are a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, that I answered some questions for you for 2014, or put your mind at ease a little bit, maybe. Um, again, as I stated on my last video, um, if you don't believe in astrology, that's absolutely fine. If you do believe in astrology, that's absolutely fine. So, if you have any comments for, like, other, um, commenters that do believe in it, and you happen to be a non-believer, can you just either like be really considerate of your comments or um sh so uh, people actually do enjoy this um, and kind of bringing everybody down so be nice keep smiling and i will see you next time for air talk to you later